Ape Defense, Wallace Cut. Um, my overall impressions at this time, I still would not recommend them. Um, even after them sending the slide back, they said they fixed the issue. Uh, as you'll see in the footage, I don't think the issue is fixed. I still had a lot of malfunctions. I'd give the gun probably, or that slide at least, probably a 4 out of 10 rating. Um, not super impressed with it. It felt very well. Uh, the recoil impulse felt nice. It looks good, aesthetically pleasing, all that. Um, cut for an acro, which I like, because I couldn't find another slide pre-cut for an acro uh, with that compensator. That sucks, man. That hurt my damn feelings. Appreciate the, uh, I appreciate the review, though, uh, Ace Tactical. I appreciate that, man. Which, by the way, He's he's got eight hundred. Y'all can y'all can get him to a K. Uh, help 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 my homeboy out. Help the homie out, man. Get him to a K. He did a review on the um, ape defense. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> he did an MV on that slide, and that's very helpful because I was about to drop six hundred dollars on that slide, so he saved me six hundred bucks uh, because I would have been pissed if I would have bought it and it wouldn't have ran. Cause I've been going back and forth about that slide forever, so I appreciate, man. That's that's great. I, I appreciate your reviews, man. If you uh if you ever put those hats for sale, or you ever sell those hats, I'll buy a hat, man, to help your channel or you know whatever merch you do or whatever. Cause you saved me, you saved me the hassle of building a firearm and then not being not being happy with it. Uh, so I appreciate that Ace Tactical. Give uh. Give the homie a follow, man. He's a he's a cool cat, man. Cool cat. What's going on? What's going on? It's been a minute. It's been quite a minute. Um, you were right, Kendrick ninety eight. You were right. You said. You said it. You said it. I'm gonna I'm gonna make the slide black. I got the. Uh, and I did. I did. I made the slide black. I took. Uh, I took that 98, 92, 98, 9211, XI, SAO, sent the slide off, and now it's all black. It's all black now. It's all black. That's a snap cap right there. I can take it out. Clear. So, yeah, that's just a snap clap. So, uh, here's a... Uh, Here's where we are with, oh God, it's so beautiful, oh my gosh, so beautiful, it, it I, I don't know why they did that, man, and then they, then Beretta comes out with a 92 GTS, which is a double action, single action, and it's all black, so it's, it's like, I, I don't know, I don't know if gun manufacturers do this on purpose, but it's like, they make something almost right. It's just almost right. And see, that's why I like Glocks, because it's simple. They don't try to, they're like, you want sights? Do that shit yourself. You know, buy whichever sights you want. There's a bazillion of them out there. You know, you want a, you want an optic, uh, you, you get the plate, you put the shit on there. They just kind of do the base work because other people are just not getting the shit right. I think there's just something always off about some shit. Like, yeah, I love this Beretta. I, I love it. I love the way it looks. I love the way it feels. I love the way it shoots. Not not particularly happy about this uh the size of this uh safety. I wish they would have just did a knockoff staccato one and made it that thin the thin metal like the staccato one so I could ride it just like that. But uh you know, this is nice. But then they then they made the slide this weird color of uh gray. It wasn't like a shiny chrome or it wasn't like a uh a dark it was just this weird in between color. I, I didn't I didn't get it. So anyway, I paid a hundred bucks to a local shop here that uh they seracoded my 19X mags. And uh so they I had them seracote. Yeah, this is what it this is what it looked like before. And here we are now. Look at that. Whew. Can we just take a second? That's that's nice, man. That's nice. That's nice. So I went to the uh, I went to the um, get it seracoded. Only took a couple of days. It's a local shop, and I'm not gonna shout it out because I've been there. Like I said, I've been there before. I got the 19x done there, and the, every time I go there, they fuck up something. <laughs> I mean, every time I go there, 
they like they just do something that's fucked up. Like uh, one time I went I went there to get my PDP sights, my suppressor sights mounted, and it's a female. It's a female. Uh, I think a female works there, and her father in law works there. The father in law is great, but every time I see the female there, it's not a sexist thing. I'm just saying she does have a vagina. She is a female. It's a description. Relax. Well, you know, nowadays you you don't. All right, never mind. So she's she's there. She's really nice. She's usually got her kid there. It's just it's real sweet. And I'm thinking, yeah, you know, it's just some lady that's grown up in the gun world. Dad's a gunsmith. She's carrying on the family tradition. Whatever. Anyway, every time she's there, she always fucks something up. Just something. So I take my PDP there, one of my PDPs, and I get my sights. I've had two PDPs that I had sights installed. The second one that I had sights installed on, she installed the rear sight, and it was clearly off. It wasn't like I was taking a little micro. No, that bitch was like about to fall off the right side of the gun. And so I show it to her. I pick it up. I immediately notice, and I was like, hey, you know, what's, what's going on? And in the PDP, there's like a screw in the middle of the sight. I guess that holds it in place. So instead of loosening up the screw, I think she just went back there and started banging on it. And then, you know, you could see a track where the screw, where the set screw was sitting. But anyway, so it was just like, all right, you're going to give me this thing. And it's just, it's clearly off. I mean, what's, what's going on? So then I bring my 19X slides to my 19X uh, magazines, the FDE ones to be Cerakoted black because, you know, I like everything black. And uh, there's a little scratch on the bottom of the mag. And I thought, you know, why is it there? Maybe that's where she put it in a vise or I I have no idea how she scratched it. But there's a little scratch. So that's strike two. Strike three is I bring this to be Cerakoted. Great job on the slide. But then I look at the, uh, and you might not be able to notice, but then I look at the sight and you see how there's some discoloration right there on the rear sight? Because I guess she took the rear sights off to uh to seracote the slide and there's just some discoloration right there and you know it's minor but there's always this was a brand new gun there's always something and then i look at the front sight which i can't use any of the sights because this is so tall so there's no there's no look at that there's no uh there's no co-witnessing so whatever the sights are just there to be there but I look at the front sight, and you see that little uh, that little chunk missing out of there. And I was just, I just thought, man, fuck. And I, you know, I didn't want to come in there, and you know, I don't know. I was trying to be nice, but I should have just been like, I mean, I just can't walk up there and be like, bitch, you fucked up my sights. What the fuck? I just can't do that shit. I wanted to. Oh man, I wanted to, but it's just this nice lady with her little baby, and I didn't want to. You know, I'm a big, tall black man. I didn't want to come in there like, bitch, what the fuck? <laughs> you know, but, oh, it was so aggravating. So that's strike three, man. I'm not messing with them anymore. And that's why I like Glocks, is that I could just take, Ameriglo sites are very, uh, are very, uh, they're hard, they're durable. They're, they look, they look very, very tough. And I could just take them almost anywhere. I don't have to go to that specific place. I can go almost anywhere and I, or I can just mount them myself. You know, I can just get a sight pusher and do it, you know, myself. But I, I think Beretta has a, is notorious for sights that are difficult to pull in and out. But anyway, that, that little bit just irritated me. It just, it just was like a fucking hair in a, in a, like if you ever go out to eat and you see like a tiny little hair in your food, it's like, God, it's really just a tiny little hair. In reality, you could probably just, you know, flick it out and, and move on with your day, but it's like, God damn it. This meal was nineteen ninety nine. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> you know? Oh man. And the fact that she just gave it to me, like, here you go. You know, I I have to figure out what's wrong with my shit. That just annoyed me, man. And you know, and I know guns are supposed to be ran and they're gonna get durable. They're gonna be durable and I'm gonna drop it and it's probably gonna get chipped off anyway but i mean let me do let me fuck up my shit you know what i mean let me scratch up my shit your job is not to scratch up my shit your job is just to seracote it and give it back to me but that was just that was so aggravating getting back to this really happy with how it turned out otherwise 
Very happy with how it turned out otherwise. <sighs> it just looks like that's the way it was supposed to look. I mean, I feel like I fixed it. Yeah, and uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty happy with it. Although, although before I had it Cerakoted, I was thinking about trading it in for 47 and uh, just calling it a day. You know, that, that still might happen because uh, this is this is very nice. But I actually already bought Amerigo sites for. Yeah, I actually already ordered some Amerigo sites for uh, for Glock, the 511s, the same ones I have on my 19. I actually ordered those already. So we'll see. We'll see, man. We'll see. We'll see. Kind of just in a in a in a Glock mood. But I'm gonna take this uh probably back out to the range. I don't know, maybe today. Who knows? And see uh see how I feel. Maybe not today, maybe next week, maybe like on Monday. I'll take it out to the range and see. Yeah. Very nice. Yeah. Whew. Very nice. Anyway, what's going on with you? That's all. That's uh, that's all I got, man. That's all I got. Oh, I did. Uh, I did get for my nineteen. I did uh, clear for my nineteen. I did change out the threaded barrel protector. I got a uh, man. You know, I had. The first one I had was the silencer code one, the one that came with that one, and it kept sliding off. So I was trying, as I was shooting it, it kept sliding off. So I tried to, uh, man, I was trying everything. I, I got online, I asked people. Some people said use a touch of, a touch of Loctite. So I put some Loctite on there. I put too much on there, and I couldn't get that motherfucker off. So then I had to, I took, uh, I took my work uniform and I, I, cause I was about to head out the door and I was like, let me try to loosen this thing up before I leave. Cause it was just bothering me. So I uh, took one of my work shirts and I put it over the, put it over the, um, the protector. Why am I having brain farts? Put it over the protector, took some, um, took a, some pliers. Yeah. And I tried to loosen it up and I tore my work shirt and I scratched up the uh, the thread protector. And that was just annoying me, right? So then I, then someone, so I said, all right, I'm not going to do that. Then someone said, get like those little washers. So I got one of those, screwed it up in there and it just, it just had this waffle effect around it. And I thought, okay, now I got to take the waffle thing off before I, the washer off before it was just aggravating I, I i like stuff to come in one piece so then i ended up i bought this one this one was from in you can't even really see it there you go that one's from ndz on uh on uh amazon why do i feel like i sound like an idiot right now <laughs> <laughs> I feel like one of those kids is like, and then, and then I went to the store and then, and then he said, <laughs> all right. All right. So I got the one from NDZ. It has, oh, let's see. It has, it's going to be hard for you to see. It has a little rubber uh, seal. I'm sure there's a name for it. I can't think of it right now. Who gives a shit? It's got a little rubber seal in there. So when I screw it down, it, it stops. But the outside of it is very smooth. So I can't really get a grip on it. You know what I mean? I, I can't really, I couldn't really get a grip on it. So anyway, so I went online, kept looking, kept looking. And then I went to uh, FN site. And FN has a has a threaded, uh, threaded barrel protector threaded barrel protector that has this all this nice grip on it it's real rugged and you know i like it could probably scratch scratch that dead skin off with that look at that anyway yeah so it has the same uh it has the same washer on the inside 
Look at that. It took my skin off. Good Lord. Good goodness. Yeah, so it's it's rugged. And it has that same uh, washer on the inside that stops it. That keeps it tight. So when I shot with the NDZ one, I haven't shot with this one on there, but when I shot with the NDC one, I took it to the range, it did not move at all. So I thought, oh, okay, that's that's the solution. It's, there's gotta be a little, there's gotta be a little washer. Uh, I know that, I know that's not what it's supposed to be called. It's not a washer, but there's gotta be a little one of those in there. And it's got enough grip to where I can screw it on pretty tight. And So that's nice. So that's where I am now with the, uh, I don't like that there's that little gap right there, but that's as close as I can. I can get it without and be able to get it off. So anyway, that's where the 19 sits right now. That's where the whew, that's where the 19 sits. So I'm happy with that. So FN, if you're having the same issue I am, FN I had FN is uh they got a solution for that. They got a pretty nice threaded barrel. Looks good too to me. So that's where I'm at with that. All right, what are y'all talking about? Man, I talked for a long time. It's 15 minutes. Jeez. It's been a minute, so let me get let me get caught up here. Uh, let's see, T James three 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 Bobby. Yes, why are you screaming? <laughs> been watching for a few months now, and I probably went back and watched most videos you posted. I find myself laughing more often than not. I appreciate that. I love the chill environment you created, and look forward to new vids. Okay, cool. I look forward to making them. I look forward to talking to you. You know, because I don't have. Uh, Friends that I can talk about this stuff to. There's an there's an older guy at my job. He's like sixty something, and we talk about it. But if he's not there, you know, I can't I can't talk about guns really. Every time he sees me, he's like, "Hey, you uh, you succumb to the temptation." <laughs> I'm like, "No, nah, I'm abstaining, bro. I'm abstaining. I gotta. I'm nearly. I'm twenty, nearing my twenty first. Okay, congratulations. Meaning I can apply for my CCW. Good for you." Looking to get a 19 or a 45. Hey. I have a 45. Clear. <laughs> Ooh. We'll talk about this later. We'll talk about this later. But uh, if you've noticed, it's not the same old 45. It's not your mama's 45. <laughs> it's not that. It's supposed to be your daddy's. Okay. All right. Yeah. 45. One with the dot. And with irons. Uh, let's see. I learned the airsoft has I learned that airsoft has some sort of place in dry fire for me in the meantime, so got a replica 19 and 45. One with dot, one with irons. Just working on draws and reloads out of the sidecar with a shot timer. And I love it. Heard you talking about a 26. I think you should grab a 26 Gen 5, throw on a PB3. That's the uh that's New TLR6 HL and the factory plus two base pads. Could be dope. Deep concealment piece. I've rambled long enough. Feel better, man. I'll go have a nice tall glass of shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> Room temperature glass, bitch. Nah, I'm just playing, man. I appreciate you, homie. Yeah, man. Congratulations on your 21st birthday and that you're practicing. You know, that's great, man. I, I think that's wonderful, homie. Let me know when you actually have your birthday. So, uh. You know, I can celebrate you, man. Give you a shout out, man. I, that's great, man. It's a great present. I wish I would have, uh, I wish I'd have had that kind of preparation when I uh, was 20. I was too busy, you know, jacking off. All right. Uh, should I get a 26 with a plus two uh, PB3? I actually saw that set up on this Instagram page I follow called, called Meme something. And I, I, I think that's a cool setup. Uh, I don't know. That's getting eerily close to a Glock 19. So I think what I'm going to do is just get another Glock 19. Because that's that's a pretty good size. I don't know. And I think I'm just going to get one and run it butt-ass naked. We'll see. Uh, Chris Larson, 5100. Married twice, divorced twice. Life couldn't be better. Uh, yeah, I, I, <laughs> yeah, I responded to that. And he said, uh, I think he told me he was married... I forgot how long you said you were married, but I know there was a break in between. I wonder what made you get married again after that. You know, I don't think if if Mrs. Dynamite and I don't work this out, I don't I think I'm just going to be a hoe for a little while, even though it's dangerous to be a hoe. Fuck around and stick your dick in somebody and pull it out like a nub. Ah! <laughs> 
pull out. Pull out nothing, your balls just fall out. The fuck what kind of STD do you have? <laughs> yeah, that's dangerous. Don't be a hoe, fellas. I'm just saying that because I'm upset. Don't do that. Uh, it's it's you, you dicks, your dicks way, which way too important to you to just be throwing it away. To just be Russian roulette in that thing. Glory holding that thing. Glory hole. <laughs> if you know what a glory hole is, you're pretty nasty. You're my kind of guy. Uh, J. Lou, 6890. I thought that said Jew, 6890. I was going to go, does that make me racist if I say it like that? All right, dude, I haven't laughed so hard at someone's commentary in a while. Thank you. You're welcome, man. Appreciate you. Noobs the Shooter. What's up, homie? Appreciate the video as always. Thank you for the uploading. No problem, man. Hey, you just had a video that I watched. Let me see. You just had a video. Uh, I didn't watch the 19 versus the 2.0. That was a day ago. Uh, I watched your collection video. You see? See how it's already played? Look at that. See that red line? See? I already watched it. Uh, yeah, yeah, I like that, man. Um, I like that. Appreciate you. Appreciate you for uploading that. That was a good one. Um, let's see. Uh, wait, where am I at? Uh, okay, 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 okay. Uh, for F A Z O. For Fazo, I like how you just be making everything a clean bill. Thank you, homie. I just like keeping it simple because I have, uh, I just get annoyed when things are too complicated. And, uh, you know, the sites that this lady fucked up are, uh, are annoying me. I can't stop thinking about them. Uh, so I'm trying to put my mind on other things. Anyway, I think I may have some kind of like rain man disease. And you've, and I don't know if y'all old enough to have seen Rain Man, but you know he gets like spazzed out over the simplest things. The nine up milk in my cereal, you know that kind of shit. Rules to the game. What up, Bobby? What's up, man? The bread is fire. Salute, my guy. Salute to you too, sir. Uh, Juan Quinones, eight Juan Quinones. I hope I said it correctly. Eighty one ninety seven. Hey, Bobby. First, thank you for your service, sir. Appreciate it. No well, no problem. I've been married for 20 years. Hey, rack of applause for that. Whew. Rack of applause for that. 20 years. You could retire. Whew. And I get you, but you know that those fights make us stronger. And at the end, y'all going to see eye to eye. Uh, let's hope so. I mean, um, you know, nothing a good blowjob wouldn't solve. Really, that's all she's got to do to shut me up. It's just, you know, just take, just take one to the, take a couple to the face and uh, she'll be okay. And when I say blows, I don't mean like punches. I mean like, you know, okay, all right. <laughs> the Ranker 53, looking to get the XI GTS. Yeah, I saw that with the same decocker, but that sucks to hear. It gives pain. Looking forward to review of the new grips. Uh, yeah, these grips are just like the other ones. I mean, they're just a different color. So, um, you know, and I've had them before. I had them on my... Uh, my Frankenstein build with the uh, uh, LTT slide and the 92X, 92X RDO um, frame. Same thing. Same thing. They feel great. And I'm going to try maybe gripping it a little differently and see uh, see how it goes. I called Beretta to see if they had suppressed right sights. I, I just don't get that. I don't get why you'd make an optics plate. And then you know that shit, the optics plate is as tall because this is the stock, this is the uh, the the stock uh, OEM optics optics plate. So they know that the sights are the same height as the fucking optics plate. So why don't you just make the sights twice as tall? I don't understand it. Like what the fuck? What what is the what is wrong with people? It's just simple. Make taller sights and then manufacture a bunch of them so people can buy extra sights. I mean, I don't know. Do you all just not like money, Beretta? I mean, what the fuck? You, what do you want me to do? Uh, bloody motivation, 90, 59, 26. Try the 47, bro. Yeah, I, I was thinking about it. Uh, I've switched this one on my 19. I don't know if I had to win a lottery of Glock triggers with this purchase or maybe 47 have a trigger. I really don't know. But after I ran a lot of Gen 5 Glocks, this trigger 47, just maybe the stock, best stock I've ever felt. I go to the range with my 19 grip and my two slides. 
19 grip, extension X grip, put uh, to four put uh, Glock 17 mags and a 19 Glock 47 slide is my perfect range toy without red dot. Okay. For some reason, I feel much better with the 19 grip plus X grip than with a real 45, 17, 47 grip. Uh, you have that same 19 feeling in a full size grip and that balance with a longer slide is perfect. Uh, okay. Uh, yeah, my perfection is uh, my 45. Woo! <laughs> Shit! <laughs> That's my perfection. That is my perfection, and I like my 19 now with my new uh, with my new FN threaded uh, threaded barrel. It's it's very nice. It's uh yeah, it's very very nice. I like it like it a lot. Like it a lot. We'll be we'll be probably carrying this this weekend. Headed out of town. Probably will. This will be in my pants. Uh. I like the two-tone BD all black grips better though for show. Sure. Yeah, that that frog ass wasn't really wouldn't really do it. But I like the all grip. It makes when I look at it, it's way calmer. It just I just it just helps me focus on the details of the of the pistol. I think sometimes color is is a, is a distraction. It, it gets away from looking at what the fuck is in front of me, and and seeing all right how how are the lines how how are the how is the machining how. You know, how are the mechanisms moving? I'm just, you know. One thing she did do that was great is that she kept this uh, this red dot right here. So I don't know how she did it, but uh, but she did it. And she did it on both sides. So that's a good job. And I'm sure she was proud of that. But uh, I would have been happy with it being blacked out if she didn't fuck up my sights. All right. All right. I'm leaving it alone. I'm leaving it alone. <laughs> I'm done. I'm done with it. I'm leaving it alone. All right. Man, we're at 27 minutes already. All right, I'll have to come back and, and, and talk to you about that 45, which I'm very happy about, by the way. Very happy about. Uh, Bobby, on the relationship side. Okay, let's do it. Oh, look, by the way, anytime you have a new pickup, man, let's talk about it. Let's talk about the new pickups, man. The new, the new buys, the new purchases. Let's not call them pickups, the new purchases. You didn't just see that shit on the ground. And, oh, I'll take this. You bought that shit. You swiped the card. You worked overtime. I would prefer you working overtime than swiping a card. Okay, grip, grip, credit card debt is from Satan. Okay, I'm telling you. Shit is impossible to get up from up under. You know, just work the overtime, dude. Just be a man, suck that shit up. Stay two hours late every day, and that shit will add up. Then you buy your gun. It'll give you time to think about it so you don't end up buying, selling, buying, selling. It's my free advice to you. Take it or leave it. I'm not taking advice from a man when I've never seen his fucking face. All right, that's fine. You know, whatever. That's fine. Bust them guns. Still, very, very aggressive handle there, sir. You're going to end up on a list, okay? You're going to end up on a YouTube list. On the relationship side, likely you two have been in a different, as been as different as you are now. It's just that we get older, our tolerance to ignore those differences and just let shit go diminishes. The worst things can do is ignore the worst thing you do is and that will just allow you to grow apart you're at a point in a relationship where you have to acknowledge those differences calmly discuss each other's feelings but not in the heat of the moment and begin to compromise to dispel those feelings because right or wrong your perception is reality on light you know all the black grips are fire look much cleaner less distracting yes see less distracting thank you for confirming how i feel for validating my feelings uh always enjoy your open and honest commentary and videos that's going to be the last comments right there uh so Two parts of me. One part of me wants to humbly accept your advice because it sounds like sound advice. And the other side wants to say, motherfucker, I've been married for 20 years. Don't try to tell me how to goddamn handle my wife. Okay. All right. So I had to get that out. <laughs> I had to get it out, man. I had to get it out. So, yeah, you're right. You know, we probably should just uh, talk it out. And I am, I am, as I get older, I am very tired of I'm just tired of uh, trying to negotiate shit, man. I just want to do what I want to do and be left alone. Uh, I've got a weird personality because on one hand, I'm Mr. Life of the Party, and then I can just shut it off and go into a uh, hibernation phase where I don't want, I don't even want the phone to ring. I don't even want to text, you know? Uh, so yeah, I'm sure that's not easy to deal with, uh, to live with. So uh, anyway, we'll see what happens. But regardless... I've got guns, 
So I'm happy. Uh, just me and my guns. We're, we're very happy together. And uh, it's all good. It's all good. Whew. This 19 is nice. All right, fellas. Man, love you. Y'all have a good one. I'll probably come back and talk about this. 45. But I don't want to make this too long. It's already too long. So uh, I'll, I'll come back. I'll give you, uh, I don't know. I'll give you uh, an hour. Then I'll come back and talk to you. All right, if I can. All right, bye.